Welcome to Actual Scale Modeling. This is part one of the Revel USS United States Scale 1 to 96. As I explained in the intro, um, th this will be a multiple uh, video uh, guide to this build since it's such a large kit. So feel free to go and check that out. Um, you can see what's inside and um, how I'm going to go about uh, building this kit. So let's jump into it. So I've already primed it, as you can see here, and um, you don't really have to prime the inside, apart from the top part there, because those parts will be showing. And um, here there's good waterline marks uh, for your um, di different tones of paint. So I'm starting off with Rebel Aquacolor 05 White, and this is for the main stripe along the hull. But also, um, it needs to be painted in the inside in, in these little parts here so just be wary of that. The window frames and other small features on the side of the will also be white. Now it, it's a good idea to paint in the white first before you put in uh, any of the other colours. It's just because you can uh, be a little bit messy here um, as long as you get an even coverage of the areas that want to be white then you can just cut in the other colours. So as you can see there, the whole window area is painted white uh, and now I'm painting in the main strip. As you can see, I'm not using any masking tape here. Um, I'm just using the lines on the actual model itself to guide my brush. They're, they're quite deep, so um, it's, a, it's easy just to draw your brush along. Um, later on when I put in the black, um, I will be using masking tape. But for now, um, I'm unable to get away with not putting it in. And it's the same with these uh, ridge lines here, um, just using a smaller brush to paint them in. It doesn't really matter, as I said, if you're a bit messy on this, uh, as long as the main area is covered. And it's also the same process for the um, other windows within the kit. So um, it's wise to go through the kit and see which uh, windows and parts from the hole need to be painted white, um, so that you can get that done first of all and, and out of the way. And likewise with the, the back, um, there, there's a couple of little lines um, that need to be painted white, so I'm just running my, my brush over, going on to an area which will be painted black, um, but uh, as I said, it's um, easier to do it this way. Once I get to the stage, uh, hopefully I can explain a little bit better what I mean. My next colour I'm using is Rebel Aquacolor 93 Copper, and this is for the bottom of the hull. And once again with the hole, the, the lines are clearly marked, so I'm not using any masking tape here. I've gone a little bit carefully over the top part where the, the water line will be, but af after that it's just using a big flat brush and to paint it on. Now this will need a couple of coats uh, to get in there. This is uh, the finishing of the first coat, and now I'm applying the, the second coat. So because it's... Um, a raised area on this and uh, make sure you get into all, all the little knots and cr crannies to cover it up. So once that's all dry it's time to mask off. So I'm using Tamiya's 6mm masking tape here and then I'm putting it over the white and it's got to go hard against the top line of the, of the white. Um, uh, as I said the, the lines are, are quite distinctive in this so uh, you shouldn't have any problem lining that up. And once I've masked out the white area I will be putting a, a bit of tape around the um, copper area as well. Once it's masked I'm painting um, over the tape and onto the leading edge with the under colour, so in this case the uh, white. Um, this stops any paint bleed occurring. You can also varnish it as well if you like. And what it does is acts as a barrier for any paint uh, seeping into the, your, your underwork. Now, ideally you want to va uh, varnish your paint that you, you put on or make sure it's completely cured uh, before you put your tape on because you, you don't want the tape to be pulled off, uh, the colour to be pulled off the tape. And it's the same again with the copper, just uh, taking uh, the copper paint and painting it over the tape or onto its hard line. Now it's time to paint in the black and um, for this I'm using Rebel Aquacolor 09 Arthazite. When I'm painting uh, volume masking tape, 
it's best if you paint away from the masking tape so don't push your brush into the masking tape you can still get a uh, light bleed that way so what I do is I, I place my brush halfway on the tape then pull it down drag the paint down uh, onto the actual surface that way you're not um, pushing up the tape and the tape uh, seeping in underneath so I'll carry on doing this as you can see um, I'm going on to the, um, the lower part of the hull here just uh, painting in any of the blank spaces a, a nice flat brush is um, essential for this to get an even coat now make sure the paint is completely dry before you take the tape off um, give it a good couple of hours for it to cure um, ideally overnight uh, then you can just peel the paint off and as you can see there I haven't got any light bleed which is really good sometimes you may get the odd spot but um, this time I didn't get any next is to paint in the detailing so using a very small brush here and um, Tamiya's X12 gold leaf it's one of the best gold colours I, I found on the market Tamiya's um, Rebels Gold is um, okay but it can be temperamental and thickness it depends on which parts you get so I generally use Tamiya's one for this so I'm using a very th fine brush and just going over the raised area where the details are oh no there's not much to paint on it's just uh, the the front and the back as you can see that's all painted in um, took a little while to do this uh, because it's um, such a small area I think for the back window it's the uh, same again so if you remember I painted it um, in black but well, in white first the window frames then went over um, all the other areas in black and now I'm painting in the, the detail using the same brush um, I think this brush is a uh, 0 times 3 so it's zero, zero, 0 brush and I'm just running over the raised detail uh, with the paint uh, to do this, uh, a city hand it is really helpful but if you do it slow and steady it should be alright but don't worry if you do make a mistake you can always go back over it again with the darker colour then repaint I, I did a couple of times um, it's just the way it goes because it, they are so small but there's the, the complete part done now so now I've gone on to the rudder and frame and um, the instructions are calling for um, a, a black colour here so I, I decided to use um, a paint I haven't used before which is a Mr Hobby H28 matte metal black um, I'll, just to see what the results are originally I was going to do it in a dark iron colour um, uh, instead of black just to give it a contrast against the hull uh, it's also the, the, the bands leading up to the rudder that are uh, getting painted in the same colour. But I'll just spin it around, there you go, you can see it um, painted there. It's time now to um, close up the hull, put the two parts together. Uh, the best way to tackle this is to uh, do one end at a time. So pick an end, uh, put it together and then uh, do the other end. So that's what I'm doing here now. Um, just getting it all marring up. There's no cement on the middle section of this, it's just where I'm putting the clamps. You will need clamps as well to do this. Uh, the, these small uh, clamps are ideal for it. And once that's done, I turn it around and uh, it's uh, the same again on, on the back of the ship. Th there is a uh, little pins and location points for, uh, to help you uh, put the hull together which is a great help because sometimes they're not that good and the thing can slip around but um, th this one did so now it's time to do the middle part so I'm putting the, the cement on and um, just a bit, bit right down the centre and then just use your clamps to uh, squeeze the two halves together to close it out if you've managed to align the front and back properly this should just all fit in easily uh, with the location pins also take note there's um on on this kit there's a couple of stud marks along the the keel here do not cut them off these will be used for the stand later on and that brings 
me to the stand so it's time to prep that so I'm using Revo Aquapillar 09 as the site for the base and that will go over um, the struts as well as the plaque and then it's over onto the um, Tamiya Z12 gold leaf for the, um, the writing in the border and it's the same process I use for the detailing um, on the main hull uh, just gently putting my brush over the raised areas to paint in so I'm just putting the finishing touches to it now um, it could have went better to be uh, truthful with you I must have had too much coffee by this point but um, look, I'll, I'll decide whether I'll do it later on or not but I'll probably just leave it like it is now it's uh, just a matter of making up the um, stand and it's just a, a couple of prongs on each uh, side here that go in so I'm just finishing up here and this will actually bring part one to a close so I've got quite a lot done more than I expected actually uh, for part one put the hull together and got it painted up in, in part two I'll carry on with the hull start on uh, the lower decks and maybe get around to the cannons we'll see how it goes so if you haven't done already why don't you check out my other builds on the channel I'm sure there's something there for everyone subscribe to the channel as well for um, further updates for this build and indeed any builds in the future if you've liked what you've seen here today why don't you hit the like bu button and uh, indeed you can leave a comment but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye